You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements to your smile, affordable improvements, can make a big difference in your appearance, how you feel about yourself. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Don Brown. Dr. Brown, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you, Randy. How are you? Good, good. Now, we've had you on the program uh, right. before for, for many years. And, and, you all, and for people watching this, I, I need them to know I'm not necessarily endorsing you. I'm just asking the questions. But your photos are the best we've seen. Well, thank you. So, so, so very good. So for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about your practice. Who's your typical patient? What are the different services you offer? Well, we have a, a very large practice. It's, uh, we have five or six dentists, depending on time of year. And uh, we offer services from, I guess, everything a general dentist would offer and then some. We, we uh, place implants. We do some cosmetic dentistry. We do fillings. About everything. When you go to your dentist, everything you would expect them to be do, we do. Okay, then you have this kind of like everything is done under one roof. Well, kind of I, I agree to that somewhat. I, I honestly, unless there are specialists involved, I don't think that's ever really a good thing. Okay. I think specialists in dentistry are absolutely necessary, our surgeons and periodontists and orthodontists and so forth. Um, but we do many, many procedures. I think we pride ourselves in knowing when is the right case to refer. It's kind of like, uh, you know, Pete Dawson. You've heard of Pete Dawson in the Center for Advanced Dental Kind of a famous study. dentist, right? Very famous, very famous teacher, researcher. And he had an acronym, it was called WIDIUM, and it stands for would I do it on me or would I do it on mine? And so that's how I personally will treat a patient. If I think this patient's better at a specialist, then I refer him, explain why. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, you, you know, we, we talked in the green room, and you, and, and you on your way over here, you know, we, we, we also talked, and you want, I mean, you wanted to make it talk today about affordable dentistry. About well, how to, you know, especially these days. Elaborate on that. Especially, and why is that important? Especially to you? these days. You know, it's. Uh, you know, as you know, we've done beautiful cases, and, um, and I take so much joy in seeing people smile when they leave the office. I mean, it is a life-changing event for many of these patients. I remember one time you asked me, are you ever surprised uh, that a patient yeah. is so happy? And I told you, Randy, I'm surprised if they're not. I mean, these folks are, it changes them. Because I, mean, I always I, think it's just a smile, but you say it's more than that. Well, it's just teeth. I don't, th I don't think anybody just thinks it's smile. When you see somebody smile, you know when it's a real smile. In, in okay. people in dentistry know it's an eye smile. The smile's here, but it's in the eyes. You see a true joyful smile, it's in the eyes. I should mention you're my dentist too. Well, thank you. Until, until you moved. Until I moved. You were my right, dentist. Right, right. And, and I could pick course, any dentist. And you probably have. And you, yeah. you, you, know, you pointed something out to me that I was holding back my smile. Well, I can and show you. I didn't you. realize it. Well, it's a good time to just show it to you and show the folks out okay. there what, what we're talking about here. Okay, so. This is when you first came to the office. So there's my before. Right, you first came to the office and you, I said smile for the camera and it was this totally constricted, tense smile. You saw it though, you saw that? Oh, instantly, I mean, if you see them now, I mean, you know, you could tell anybody who's smiling, you know it's a real smile, they're happy, they're not even thinking about any negativity, okay. but some people hide it. They don't realize they're hiding, but they hide it. And in your picture, of course you Now in this before photo, you told me, you said I can right. fix your teeth, blah, blah, blah. And I thought I was fine. You said you got two holes on both sides of your mouth. So at the corner here, right. you wanted to make it a little well, bit if more you look, broad. If you, look at the, if you look at the smile, you can see how the corners of your lips are, are, um, are constricted. You see your eyes are not really having a big smile. You're just not really smiling. It's just, people know. I mean, it's not, you don't have to be a dentist to know that. I think if you go down and look, we just filled out the sides of your teeth. Very simple procedures. Uh, yeah, look at the before and after. It's called buccal corridor, and, and uh, you just fill it out and give you a five. And that was like no prep. I mean, you just put stuff on top of my pretty existing simple, teeth. Pretty is simple. Right? Right. Is that a common procedure? Co people come in? Um, is that I think horrible that, procedure? You know, that's the, that's the uh, I think that's the ultimate knees. If you have, if you're going to build out contours and you can do what's called a no prep or a, a minimally prepped and you just build out the contours and we plan it well in advance, we know what it's going to look like before it gets, gets in your mouth. So. It was a fun procedure. I, I'm, I'm really happy with the and, result. And, and I used to think I had a good smile. I didn't really get, but when I, after that, I, right. I will tell you, that probably there isn't a week that goes by, I don't get a compliment on my smile. No. Or people will say, are you a dentist? I was on a plane, and I always get, are you a dentist? I was at the bookstore, are you right. a dentist? Why? Because you look so good. I, I need to carry around your cards. Your cards. I need your cards. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was my next thought. Perhaps we ought to give you some cards. So affordable dentistry. Affordable dentistry, I, th I think, um, it's not just affordable, it's also just beautiful. The quality is okay. good. You're getting the time and the attention that you expect. You know, and it doesn't have to cost a fortune to do it. 
And I think that uh, we take it on a case-by-case -case basis and if people come in, I don't, it doesn't matter if it's a filling, it doesn't matter if it's a root canal, it doesn't matter what you're having done, you want a quality job and you want it at a reasonable price. It, wants, it should make sense to you. That's what we're after. And, I mean, uh, I'm like that. When I go someplace, I just I want a quality job, and, and, I, and I want to be confident that the price is fair and reasonable. Are people still, I mean, do you still hear that, no offense, doctor, you know, but I don't like going to the dentist? No, oh, every day. Do you really? Yeah, and my response to that is I don't either. So how, how, what do you think it's like being a dentist? I'll be here every day. You know? <laughs> okay. But I, I do. I feel exactly the same. When I was a little kid, you know, a teenager, I, I was hurt by a dentist. I mean, I haven't forgotten that. that? Right? That's over 50 years ago. I was hurt. And every time I see a kid come in, or an adult, but more likely a 8-year-old, 10-year-old, 12-year-old, and I, I do not want to be that dentist that they have a memory of 50 years from now. And I think of it all the time. You know, you have a every, time I, every time I give an injection, every time I just try to be as gentle as I can, and so do our doctors. We all concentrate on trying to take really good care of people. It, it makes life more pleasant in the office if you're really doing a good job. But people put it off, you say. Oh, people put off going to the dentist and then it costs more money. Well, yeah, and time. And maybe uh, if they don't go to the right dentist, the, the treatments are more intricate now and, and uh, maybe some of their worst fears could be realized. So I think it's, it's important to keep up with things and, of course, pick your practitioners you know, let me show you a case. Okay. This, okay. This is a because I know you love these photos. I love my photos. This is a great example okay. of a patient that put it off and put it off, and so many times it's a life event that brings him back. And uh, in his case, it was a reunion. In four weeks, he was going to go a Navy reunion with his buddies, and um, and he came in and uh, well, let me show you pictures. Okay. Of course, in the wow. top picture there, you see is is uh, that was our first meeting. That's got to be unusual though to see something this bad. It isn't. I think what's unusual is that they look that bad, but in only one tooth there, we have to do a root canal. And within four weeks, uh, let me show you the uh, final. So wow. four weeks later, he was ready to go to his reunion. His wife came in at the first post-op. We always like to put the case in and then have him come back a day or so later just to check it. And this might be a single crown. That might be it's a tiny case. That was a very simple case. And his wife came in, and she was a beautiful woman, and um, she was... She was smiling more than he was. She was so happy and so proud. He's a very nice looking guy. And it was really... So fun. he just didn't smile before? Like, I mean, was he self-conscious He, he wouldn't it? smile. He, well, you wouldn't want to smile that. And, um, so did, did he think all those teeth had to be removed? I mean, when he comes in looking like that, well, is, I, is he I, worried? You know, we took x-rays and, and I could tell him right away that he had some really good teeth. His bone was really healthy. Okay. And uh, those are not all cavities. A lot of those are stain fillings and things like that. So he was fortunate. But he did, he did wait too long, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's very, very nice. Let Do me, you look at this as an investment, by the way? Like in this economy, to get oh, something I, done. I, I definitely, it, it definitely is. I mean, if you take him with a before and after, I didn't show his face because he didn't want us to show his face. Um, I mean, look at the two smiles. And if he came into your business to work for you, which one would you that's hire? That's a good point. Okay. I mean, there's no question. I've hired. I've hired wonderful people in my office, but I had to fix their teeth. They just didn't, wouldn't present well for a dental office. So um, it's very important, I think, for some jobs. Maybe some jobs it isn't. But I think self-esteem, it translates to a smile, a little bit of confidence. And um, yeah. it's really, it's very, very important for a lot of people. Okay, good. So, you know, that kind of case where you've got nice, pretty white teeth all lined up is not, is not that important. And they important. look real, by the way. I think so, too. One thing, lab, lab does a nice Because job. I feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. Yeah. I th or I a can. crown or whatever. Yeah. I think the good ones, it's like a hairpiece. <laughs> the good ones you can't spot. You can't so spot. let me show you about how we get to that point. Okay. Um, Shane's case was a, was a difficult case for uh, me from the standpoint of trying to, we, we don't want to be aggressive with the case, but... You can see how his teeth are broken and chipped and, um, and really really compromised his his appearance and his ability to chew, actually. And so we had to do... So a, when you see him, do you see, like, the end result? Like, on the consult, do you say, boy, this is going to be good? Pretty like, what much. What goes on in your Pretty day? much. But you can't really do it until you do the wax-ups. If you look at that case, you'll see how we planned the case. So you've got the wax-ups. The wax-ups basically a, a three-dimensional mock-up from models of his teeth. And so we can look at the shape and the cosmetics and the occlusion, the bite is so important on everything we do, but particularly in a case of that magnitude. So the bite's got to be correct, and then you can see the before and afters at the wow. bottom. It was a significant improvement. He told me when he went back, he had to fly down three times from, uh, from Montana, in, uh, excuse me, Idaho. He threw th three times, and he, um, he said when he got back, he quit his job. He had so much confidence, he quit his job because <laughs> he thought he could do a lot better. I hope he did. Just because of yeah. his teeth? <laughs> 
because of his teeth, the smile. You know, if you look at the picture side by side, you can tell there's a, there's a real guarded smile on the top and the before and then the after. It's just very natural. It's, this is a smile. Look at his eyes. He's just, he's just enjoying it. Looks like that. a different guy. Yeah, it well, really it looks does. More sophisticated. He really does. In and, a way. and I tell you, it's easy to tell in proper photographs because before and after he had the same shirt on. So the only thing changed was his teeth and he just looks like a totally different individual. We really enjoy doing that case. As all, as all these cases, but that, that is a good case to determine how we go about the planning of a case. Okay. We might, I might do that for two teeth, three teeth. I mean, I want to see on the model what it's going to look like. All right. And, and, and what do you do? I mean, when somebody comes in right. and you, I, I mean, you have, I, I mean, and, and their fear is what is it going to look like when it's all done? How do you give them an idea of that? Well, there's a couple of ways. The wax up, I think, is the most accurate way, although it doesn't, I can't put that to his lips. Um, it tells me length, the occlusion is going to be right, and so forth. When you say occlusion, what are we talking about? Right. Just how the teeth, the the teeth come yeah, together. You want okay. the jaw to be in a certain position when the teeth are in their position, and so forth. So the other way is you can do some computer imaging, and it's something I used to do. And um, it's fun to do, and it's fun to see them, but it does not account for the bite. And so unless I can be sure that I can reproduce that in the patient's mouth functionally, then I, I'm a little leery about just showing them a computer image of what it may or may not look like. And like anything else, I mean, it's, it's less expensive to get in there early. Maintenance, Is that yeah, right? it's like everything else. So you do extractions, you do wisdom we teeth, do I mean, you do all that there. We do, and back to earlier in our discussion, um, if we can find, if we think there's a better person out there in terms of a specialist to do this case, then we'll send the patient that specialist to explain why. Okay, good. So, um, you know, it's whatever's best for the patient is best for us. Okay, good. Now, for the sake of time, you have a stack of photos, and I want to try to get as many as well, possible. Well, we talked. We know we talked about a lot of things in dentistry, and one of the okay. things we talked about is how can little things matter. And um, I can show you a few cases here. Um, here we have Brittany, and um, she had some gaps in her teeth, and the, you go from one to the other, and the gap increased in size. And we just did four simple veneers across her front four teeth wow. on the bottom photo. And um, that's a pretty smile. Uh, she's a beautiful girl. She's a model in California now. And um, so it's a pretty case, very simple case to do, but it changed her uh, smile, just a beautiful smile. I mean, uh, yeah, big difference. Let me show you Terry's case. Terry came to us, and uh, Terry's a nurse's aide. You talk about importance to a patient. This patient had saved, she told me, two to three years to get her dental work done. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> we did the same thing we always do. We take photographs, we plan the case, and we presented it to her. And, and what you're seeing here is a vast difference. We just did some restorations. Here is the before. Here's the after of the finished restorations. Here it gives you a little bit better view in the retracted view. Very nice. In uh, facial before and after. So I think that my wow. photography is all unretouched. I've done every bit of it, so I think that picture's a little overexposed on the post-op, but uh, you can see the quality of what they're Look at the tissue response. Look how beautiful that gum has tolerated this new dentistry. So, What does she say? I mean, what, what does the patient typically oh, say? I mean, they look at themselves in the mirror. Look at that smile. Tell me what she said. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, you look at the early one, that smile's kind of like yours, a little constricted, and she is just very pleased. It does change the appearance. It really does. When I first met you, and I've told you this, mm -hmm. you're the first guy, because I thought, Dennis just exaggerate about the importance of a smile. But when you look at, I mean, I think anybody looking at this at home, I mean, mm -hmm. can, can realize that it makes it, teeth make and, a big difference. And they do, and you know this is just general dental practice. Um, let me show you this, this one case. I think uh, Jan was one of my favorite cases. This looks like she has ignored her teeth. Um, hmm. And you can see from the before, she just had discolored teeth. Now she had some other problems, but um, uh, you can see how the temporaries in about four hours she went from and, oh my goodness and, uh, and then of course three weeks later we put the permanents in and before and afters are self-explanatory but when she had those temporaries put in she just gave her a mirror and she the tears rolled down her face I mean she was so happy here's a 30 year old nurse what a change and I and I am and I, I keep thinking about what it must have been like for a young lady to go through high school at 14 or 15 with those discolored teeth so a lot so, of the people hated their teeth for 10 years 20 years she she you know she had a nice smile it's interesting because we see a big change but if you look at the before it's kind of a guarded smile she's kind of like you were she has to kind of tighten up the corners and look at the Look that's at the point. pre op or the post op, but I mean, the temporaries come from the wax ups. So that's why they always look so good and the shape is so good. Now, there's probably not one case that I don't touch it up a little bit when I see it in the mouth. We kind of fiddle with it. These look very natural. I think they Every do. Every one of them. Well, that's all is about. Is that in the hands of the dentist, by the way? Well, I mean, it, art? That, that, that in the lab. So her life has changed because of this. Well, I hope it has. 
Yeah, I think. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, she's got a beautiful smile. She doesn't have to ever worry about it again. Do you think people don't even know what's possible? I I I, I really don't. I mean, and they don't know what their smile is going to do for them. I mean, do you ever talk to a patient? You're going, boy, they don't know how. I think the ones that come in for treatment are starting to realize that it is significant, whether it's in their own self-esteem or how they project in their job. I mean, if you're a receptionist in a professional office, are you going to have that smile? Do you think that's complimentary? I mean, just the way it is. I mean, I'm not making the rules here. You're not going to have that smile. I couldn't have that smile with a receptionist in my office or many other offices for that matter. Yeah. So I, I, think it, uh, I think it is important. Do you spot it all over the place? I mean, as a dentist, well, I mean, of course when you're I, at the airport, you're, you see guard, you call it a guard. You know, I see, I see what I, when I see it, I see a nice looking person. I see a big smile. And if I don't see, if I see crooked or little yellow, I think that's great because that person has a real smile. I mean, it's a facial eye smile. It's a joyful okay. smile. So as long as the teeth are healthy and they're really comfortable, that's perfect. But if you don't like your smile. If you don't like it, then talk to somebody, and, and I'm sure they can give you ideas. We've got, a, we've got hundreds and hundreds of cases on file, photographic cases that I can usually find something that we've done that would simulate what you have. And I'm not, in a general practice, you know, it might be two teeth. It may be one tooth. Let me show you a couple of those. You okay. Gotta, I don't know how much time we have, but let me show you. A few minutes. This is one tooth case. I mean, this was sent to me by an orthodontist. And he couldn't do anything about that shape. That was genetic. It's called a peg lateral. And you'll notice on the bottom, we have a nice little veneer put in there. I hardly had to drill that tooth, but look how nice it looks. And here mm. she is after she had the braces off. One tooth case. You know that made a big difference to her. Here's a simple case. So all you do is put a veneer on there? Veneer. Yeah, I, t I take an impression, send it to the lab, and they do a nice veneer, and I bond it in place, and that's that. It's not complicated. It really isn't. It's fun to do. The simpler I case. I guess the is hard part is getting them in. Not her. I mean, she, she'd yeah, break down most the door people, there's it. a lot of people you could help. Yeah, I think. But just uh, the fear of this dentist. I, I guess the fear of the fear, dentist. Fear, and I think and pain co costs. Or what? I don't think pain is probably a real thing. Certainly for me, if I go to the dentist based on my dentist as a kid, yeah, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. My smile is my smile. I'm happy with it. Not nice as yours, but I'm happy that's with it. because I have a great dentist. Yeah. I like my hair better. So, <laughs> okay. So, here's Andrea. Now, this is a great case. She's just. But cost, and by the way, we were talking about that the biggest holding, what holds people back is the cost. And you're saying that it can I be think affordable. If, and I don't know. It could be the fear and it could be the cost. Um, which one is but it? But it could be less than they think. Oh, it's definitely less than they think. Okay. These, um, these cases, I, I won't go through cost right now, but, you know, I think uh, every region of this country is a little bit different. But I think that, you know, if you have concern, you call your dentist ask them take a few photos sit down in front of a computer and start looking at cases this was basically she just had a lot of cavities her oral hygiene was getting better her, uh, she, her mom brought her in she's 18 years old but you can see that the cavity stained old fillings and we just did some nice restorations and look at the difference in her smile wow other things that we talk about now we go back same to the wax up so we talked about earlier how do you plan a case well with andrea we did the impressions and we planned the case and these she had a crown you can see this was an old crown with a dentist on the before on the before the old, the dentist um matched the adjacent tooth well that makes sense but they were both too flat and too wide so flat at the bottom on very the front flat so she was ground her tooth her bite was set up probably improperly and um, so we lengthened them and we narrowed them and we gave them some curvature. So it made it much more feminine than, than her. Uh, and that's 18 years old. She really ground them. So It's a beautiful smile, though, now. I, look at that. Yeah, it really is a beautiful smile. Gee. What a difference. Look at her smile. I mean, look at, look at again, the, the teeth gritted in the first smile, just kind of restricted. Like a forced and smile. And in the second, it's wide open. Look at the eyes. Look at the you're guarded totally joyful eyes in that final one yeah but this was a case that it was more important to get rid of the cavities and the problems and why not make it beautiful at the same time so that's what general dentists can do you know we never know what's coming through the door it could be a child a 90 year old guy it could be anybody now you offer nitrous i, I guess like we do offer nitrous sedation. nitrous is wonderful yeah and there's sedation we give uh, we can give you a pill pills before you come in make you relax good Time so, for a few uh, more, and we are almost out of time. These I know we are. are great. Uh, you know, one thing we haven't talked about, you know, cavities are cavities, trauma is trauma, people bash their teeth in doing certain things. Um, but there's, there's a few cases where people can actually damage their own teeth. They're, they're not aware of it. 
it's so subtle. It's like you gain a pound a year, and in 30 years you wonder, well, how come I'm wearing 42 pants? It's the same thing with uh, people choose lemons. Like Certain people like lemons? to put lemon peel. They like to bite on lemon peels. I think it's a regional thing in, in this country. I, I ran into that in Southern California more. Well, let me show you this case, uh, Genevieve. Um, she came in and she looked at this top. Look at the wear. Whoa. That's not cavities. That's not trauma. If you look at the glaze there, you can tell the natural shine of the enamel has been removed. And it's just this erosive thing that's going on. And her smile was totally reversed. It made her look like she was frowning all the time. So we, we went photos. We went through the same. First off, we made it clear that if we do any dental work for her, the lemon thing's got to stop. Because that will damage. <laughs> no more lemons. It will damage what we do. Um, good news, bad news. Bad news. Good no news, more bad lemons. news. Yeah, because this porcelain, it's not indestructible by any means. Of the imagination. Uh, the lemons would attack where the porcelain ends and the tooth meets it. So you'll know quickly that. in the bottom. You can see we did six veneers. Wow. Very uh, nice. These actually were crowns. I, they're beautiful. I mean, they look like perfect natural teeth. The second one quickly is bulimia. I think some, most people know what that is. The patient has a psychological problem and eats and then intentionally throws up. There's no other way to put it. And the acids just totally erode teeth. I mean, front, back, everywhere they're eroded. This young lady, well, she was about 40 years old, and uh, she was several years, she had beat this thing, and her husband was very encouraging about getting her teeth fixed. So she came in, and uh, you can see the erosive, the discoloration, and saying the same fuzzy, the, the shine of the teeth is gone. On this photo, you can see the bottom teeth where they've just eroded. So veneers wouldn't help this young lady. We had to put full crowns on her, and this is, you can see the afters. Beautiful teeth. I was very proud of this case. We did a little bit of gum surgery with a laser, but um, very pretty. Of course, we, we, um, we like to see these patients later. We want to check them later on, make sure everything's all right, make sure the bite's still stable. But I thought that was a real nice case, and, and, um, and uh, I think that'll be a very long-lasting case for her. Uh, we talk again. Let's let's talk about one or two little little things that can okay. make a big difference. And by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about affordable dentistry. According to Dr. Brown, at his center, small improvements to your smile can make a big difference, and they can be affordable. They can be very affordable. Okay. Work very hard because these are big changes here. You know, these cases. At. These are the, our lab is the same lab that's done all this work, and I think people would be shocked to find what they can get these for if they come to see us. Okay, I think. Uh, without getting into details. Let me show you Jessica, a wonderful case. You can see again these peg laterals, little bitty laterals. And in the before and afters, I think you can see the subtlety. We only did two veneers. Again, we did the wax wow. ups. What a difference. That patient, she was in the chair no more than an hour the first visit and probably 40 minutes the second visit to put those two veneers in. And it's just a fabulous case. Uh, Vicki was a great patient. We did, a, again, just another small case. Um, here you can see we have overlap teeth, the gums were different levels, old veneers that had cements that stained, which were uh, discolored with time, they don't do that anymore. In the lower picture, we had done the laser and got four veneers, and look at the difference in, in her presentation. The left is her pre-op, and uh, yes, she was. She was nice, totally different. It's so, also a younger look. I mean, I mean, they look younger. They do. Can I show you one more sure. case? Okay. We probably have time for just one more. Okay, that's perfect. Our very good friend of mine, uh, Ann Rice, the author. Oh, Who, Ann Rice, the, the, the well-known author. The well-known author. Yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she's become a friend. Uh, we did her case years ago, and without getting into a lot of detail, we did uh, crowns and this and that and everything, and I think this picture is actually on her book covers now. We did is that her, right? Yeah. It's really it's kind of fun. I was down in New Orleans, and uh, of course, that's where she was from, and that picture was on... Um, they had an Anne Rice thing, you know, she has a lot of fans in New Orleans, that's where she lived for years, and so that picture was on her, uh, on her, um, So you, because she had cover. a pretty nice smile, but you just kind of gave her a more useful mm -hmm. smile. So we were able to get the lip line uh, really nice. You can see how the lower lip, uh, we had to limit the length of the teeth, but you see the lower lip there, just kind of nice smile line for her, so she was very pleased with that. But these kind, this kind of dentistry is available to everyone, almost everyone. I mean, this one I get across. Our general practice, we'll, we'll take care of all the things that you need to do, but if you want to take it a step further, we'll plan the case and we'll talk to you about it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to, and if it's something that maybe interests you, we'll do it a year from now or two years from now. Do you, do you run into people every, every once in a while and, and, or, or, or they come in on a follow-up and say, and tell you stories of what has happened since you've fixed their teeth? Do you I, ever hear? I, I have. I have a great case here I can show you um, if you'd like to Literally see it. Literally just one more. Let's take okay. a look. Okay. Okay. This lady, 
has become a real good friend. When she smiled, you talk about a holes when she smiled. We talked about your case. On the corners of her mouth. On the corners of her mouth. Look at the smile from pre-up. Look, look at the gaps here. It almost looks like there are no teeth there. And you know, you can see the final case. It's and a pretty smile. Beautiful smile. We had, and there's several different types of porcelains here. The trick was getting them to match. And here's immediately after, and she was, um, she told me later, she came back and I almost didn't recognize her. She had lost 50 <laughs> pounds, 50 pounds. Okay. And um, she changed her name from Barbara to Sophia. That's pretty <laughs> Because sorry. of her teeth. She, she's a now a Sophia. This slender, beautiful smile, black hair. And um, she was married, I think, within six or eight months of that. And I, I knew her husband, I, you know, I'd, I'd known him separately. And so I just love that story. And uh, actually- I mean, teeth are pretty important. I, they I, are. Know, I, th they I, are. I think that's what you know. You know, eyes and teeth and skin. You know, it's also you know just, your level just the enjoyment of eating at dinner. I mean, if you're if you're having a problem chewing your food, I mean, that's a, we all like to go have a nice dinner. I mean, that that's pretty basic. You know, you don't want pain. We all know infections in the mouth are related to heart problems. They've it's been in the news quite a bit. Streptococcus bacteria in the mouth. It's very, there's a lot of reasons. So we're out of time, Dr. Brown. And I want to thank you for coming on the show. And also, they could go to your website, take a look at some of these photos as well. Right. Uh, final message, somebody watching this. They haven't been to the dentist in a while. They're worried about money, worried about costs. What well, do you I think, say to them? I think, I think uh, the hardest thing is just to be worried. You know, your best part is make a contact. If you don't connect with that person, um, try another one. You know, someone will sit down and listen to you, take a few photos, go, go into a private consultation area and put them on the computer and you can point out things that bother you and we can start talking to you about how we might fix those. There are different ways to fix teeth. You have alternatives. There, there's many ways to fix teeth. You know, implants are one. We haven't even had a chance to talk about implants, but that's a great, great way to replace missing teeth. But if you have fundamentally healthy teeth and bone, there's so much that can be done. Okay, uh, so yeah. I would just find somebody you're confident with. So go to your practice. Get yeah, a consult hey. Are you charging for consultations? Uh, no, we don't charge for these, these, this particular type of thing. Um, Good. It, it, most times the consultation will do an initial exam. You might, we can't, we have to know what's going on. So we might take x-rays and those of course be charged. But one, we can give, start giving you some pretty good ideas about things early on. Good. Yeah. Good. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Always well, a pleasure. Yeah, Randy Dr. Brown. Always nice to see always you. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks again. Okay. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If uh, you'd like to see this interview again, you just caught maybe five or ten minutes of it, you can go onto wellnesshour.com. Just put in Dr. Brown's name and you'll find it there. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 